What's happening guys? First of all, I'm alive. It's been like a month since I've uploaded a video. Second of all, the reason why I'm uploading this video, this isn't even supposed to be happening right now. I was just driving home from the gym. It's lunchtime. I'm hungry. I made this egg burrito the other night. It was so delicious. I thought to myself, why aren't I filming this and just sharing it with you guys? Because it's a really great, easy, healthy, breakfast idea or a snack idea, you can really tailor it to your macros. People are always looking for super easy things like this that they can make super quick and are just really delicious. So I've just picked up the camera and decided, you know what, we're gonna make a video today. So that's what we're doing. Let's get into this egg burrito. Let's do this. So you'll only need a few things for this recipe, guys. This has been my favorite cooking utensil as of late, I think it's like a Joyce Chen wok. If you're in the market for a wok, I'll try to put the link in the video description below if Amazon has this, but it's awesome. So this is what I'm gonna cook my eggs in. It is a huge pan, just something nonstick, something large, something you're gonna cook your eggs in. If we're making an egg burrito, we're gonna need some eggs, or you could go with egg beaters too, or a combination of both. I actually don't have egg beaters in my refrigerator. Refrigerator, can't say that word right now. So I'm just gonna be going with some whole Eglin's best large eggs. I'm also gonna be using some whites. I'm um, gonna be using like half and half. You are also gonna need a low calorie wrap. These Joseph's lavish bread wraps, I think are the best that they sell. Pretty much every Walmart carries these, at least in America. 60 calories per serving, one and a half grams of fat, eight grams of carbs, three grams of fiber in there, five grams of protein. There's two servings per wrap, but that's actually better than this company called Flat Out, which is pretty popular in America. You can find those a lot of places. These are, I think are a little bit harder to find, but these are just way bigger. Like, look at this. That's a 18 pack of eggs. Covers that thing like easily. So we're also gonna be using some of this. And the final thing is some high quality baking spray. If you can find the Spectrum coconut oil, highly recommend the stuff. This is what I use all the time. And it's just, it's really, really good, guys. So that's all you need. All right, guys, so I got a bowl out here to kind of scrambleize these eggs with my whisk before I actually scramble them in my wok. That was kind of tough to say for some reason. But anyways, uh, you could use five full eggs for your Joseph's wrap. I think five is the maximum you wanna go because if you use six, it's gonna get tougher and tougher to wrap. But you could also use a combination of whole eggs and egg whites. Today, I'm gonna go with three whole eggs and three egg whites. If you're using Egg beaters, for instance, that would be 105 grams of egg beaters. Or if you're using egg beaters, the maximum I would use is about 300 grams of egg beaters. That's if you're not using any eggs at all. So at this point, guys, once you get all of your eggs in your bowl, what I'm doing here is I've just got my whisk and I'm just whiskifying all of those yolks together in with the whites. You wanna look for all of your liquid to just kind of turn yellow, just like this and then you can move over to your wok or your pan and just start cooking them. Before we start cooking our eggs in our pan, I'm gonna take out that baking spray, the coconut oil. I'm just gonna coat our wok, a decent amount of that. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this guy up to about medium high. It's a little bit too high. Medium high heat. All right, so the oil in our wok is heated up. That's how you know the oil is heated up once you get that sound going in the pan and you add your eggs. And what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna get a spatula, because I need you spatula, that Alyssa got me as a gift. And we're just gonna start working these eggs around our wok or our pan until they cook through completely. So the eggs took like no time at all to make, guys, like maybe a minute. This is exactly what you wanna look for. Completely dry on the outside, not liquidy at all, completely cooked. Looking super fluffy, if I do say so myself, too. And once they're looking like this, that's when you can go ahead, transfer them to your wrap, and get your burrito started. Now, what I'm gonna do is just add the eggs to the wrap, to one side of the wrap, just like that. And then what you can do is, you're gonna wanna fold your wrap, if you're using a Joseph's lavish bread, fold it in like this, and then roll it, guys, just like, and this can be a little tricky. There we go. This is looking good now. Boom, that is what you wanna look for. Now the secret to cutting your burrito and it not falling apart, guys, is toothpicks. So I'm gonna put one toothpick on this side, one toothpick on this side. Then once you have your toothpicks in there, you can take a knife, cut this in half. Oh man, this looks so good, guys. Check that, as I just spilt eggs everywhere. Check that out though, how good does that look? 
So good, right? Yeah, so that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed making this egg burrito with me. It is seriously delicious. It's so easy to make. It is certified. 11 out of 10 good. I hope you give it a shot. If you do, even add a little sriracha to this, which is what I think I'm gonna do with my second piece over there. You are in some serious, delicious business, guys. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Mmm, there's eggs everywhere.